The main thing that we're trying to do is to uh, fundamentally change the way that people look at the planet. Before ice I came along, the conventional way of looking at the planet was to use very large satellites, especially if you wanted to look in all weather conditions and day and night, you need to use synthetic aperture radar, which means that you have to have a very large satellite to be able to carry a big antenna. When ISA came along, we sort of looked at this in a completely different way. What we did was said, okay, global access is good, but we can actually do this with smaller satellites and make them more affordable. And then by having more satellites, we can actually see all the globe a lot more easily. A key requirement that's always been missing from the Earth observation discipline is being able to track changes very quickly and very timely. The cool thing about radar is that when we look at a point on the ground with radar, no matter what the weather condition is or what the time of day is, when we look at a point on the ground, it always looks the same to us unless something's changed on the ground. But there's an extra piece to this puzzle, and that is because we transmitted our own photons, uh, we can compare one image on one day or one time or one moment to one that we took from precisely the same location at a previous time. And then we can identify changes, not just changes that you can see with your eye, but changes in between those observations. If you're looking at a dam, for example, dams are usually used to host large volumes of water not far from where cities are. By monitoring dams on a moment by moment basis, we can see slight subsidence or ground eruption around the dam and maybe get a very early indication of when a dam's going to fail. And so the thing that's new about this is, it's a level of persistent information, persistent imaging that the planet has never seen before. But the thing that really unlocks the future is by tracking changes and patterns over time, you get to predict slightly into the future. And that's the novel bit, seeing what's going to happen before it does happen by tracking the change of events.